These are the tiniest stairs I have ever oh been on. It's crazy! Is this real? Yeah. Whoa, look at this. It's Am I gonna fit in here with my backpack? Uh, yeah. Yeah, once you're in, you'll be okay. Good morning from the Kingdom of Fife in Scotland. Good morning! I love saying Kingdom of I do love it. I'm going to be calling it we're in the Kingdom for the, the whole time that we're here. <laughs> yeah. So we're actually here for four days. We're going to be exploring around. We've, we've got this itinerary planned out and we've got so much awesome stuff to show from this region. We are going to be walking alpacas. <laughs> we're going to be going to distilleries, trying local food. Yeah, the, the fish and chips and everything in this area in particular. There's this one place we're going to go to that's mm -hmm. going to be really busy. Uh, what else St. have we Andrews got? St. Andrews as well and just checking out the uh, little fishing villages all mm. along the coast and also like cobblestone visiting... streets and <sighs> historic sites and everything which actually so where we're staying actually is a really historic building but you can stay in it as well there's literally a book on the table that is like this thick full of the history of it's this huge. place in particular we won't go into it but I'll link it below if you're curious to read up more but we've got some big plans today you can see the sea is just behind us over there as well this whole all of these videos i feel like are going to be very coastal aren't they yes uh and we have a rental car so that means that we can stop and take photos and video and pretty much we have a lot of freedom which is kind of nice this is donald he's our ride for the next few days anyway so good having a car. We'll talk about why we call them Donald maybe at another stage because we've got a lot we've got a lot going on this morning already since that's our first day. We've just come down we've got this what we can tell already is the the bridges here are mind-blowing. We've got this really old bridge right next to this brand new looking bridge uh, but I'll let Stace explain what we're up to anyway. The first thing we're doing today is we're gonna take a boat trip out to Inchcombe Island it is a little island that has an abbey, there's sandy beaches, apparently there's also some puffins, the cute little birds. Mm. I feel like Scotland wins the award for the cutest animals. Yeah. I cannot wait to get there. So I think we've got, it's three hours, we get about 90 minutes on the island and uh, we should probably drink up our coffees and get going. Yeah. First of all, we pass under the historic Forth Bridge. Its unique structure is considered to be the engineering wonder of the world. It was opened on the 4th of March 1890 by the then Prince of Wales, who later became King Edward VII. That was a pretty easy 40 minute trip over. Nice little, uh, th th I love that there's like audio as well. So we were picking up little bits yeah. as we made our way over. One of which was that this island features Scotland's best preserved medieval abbey, which we actually were not fully aware of. Now that we can see it in the background here, I can kind of understand because it looks very well preserved. There's people it on does. top of it. What? Okay, oh, well, I already got there. got there. Okay, but you might, <laughs> I was just going to say, you might actually be able to hear some of the audio in the background of all the seagulls. So there are a lot of seagulls around at the moment because it's nesting season for them and I'm just hoping that they don't. <laughs> You're going to have sketchy eyes this whole um, day, aren't you? Anyway, we got off the ferry and got given these sticks. So after we've gone and checked out the abbey, we're going to go down uh, further towards the coast and we've been told we have to put these above our heads <laughs> because uh, seagulls go for like the highest point that they can see. So if we were just walking along without them, they'd probably like go for your head or whatever. And I'm taller. So <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be fine. But yeah, we've got these sticks, so we'll go and uh, go and see what happens, I guess. I think if they come for us, it's because we've obviously walked into like a nesting area or something anyway. So we probably shouldn't be there in the first place, but it's good to know they're not going to go for us. <laughs> I think we go up? I think we go up. We're just randomly inside the abbey. 
I can't believe we're allowed in here. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? So I think this, I'm hoping this leads to the tower with the view. We shall see. Not gonna lie, this place is a little bit of a maze. <laughs> the other stickers that we went up <laughs> took us to another room. level, which took us to the dining room. Now we're still trying to get up to the very, very top of the tower to get the best views. We don't know if we're going to the right place though. Wow, this looks like it. We need to get up there. Okay, this is actually the way to get up. These are the tiniest stairs I have ever oh been on. It's crazy! Is this really? Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Am I going to fit in here with my backpack? Uh, yeah. Yeah, once you're in you'll be okay. So we finally made it up there, but it's so windy up there, we couldn't really talk too much. The no. view was good though. But we did want to explain what the Abbey is all about. So basically there were two brothers, King David I and King Alexander I and... 12th century? <laughs> Just throw out I think, it was I think it was the 12th century. <laughs> Let me tell my story. Basically, uh... King Alexander I got stranded here. He was doing a crossing and ended up on the island. There was a hermit that took care of him, so his brother made the abbey in order to kind of like honor him. Yeah, it's a nice, nice touch. <laughs> oh, I can hear them. Well, there were a few that were maybe, I don't want to say aggressive, but protective of the young anyway. We've just walked up the hill past where some of the nesting was happening. We walked up now into this is a tunnel that was built in World War One. What we don't know is if it actually connects up. I mean, it is a tunnel, so it goes from one place to the other, but we don't really know where it's going to take us to. Hopefully, out the other side where there might be some puffins, but it's probably unlikely. Apparently it's difficult to see the puffins at this time of year because of the seagulls, so they're kind of nested into the... Into the side of the yeah, island. Like which is a shame, we really wanted to get up close and try and see some, but we can live with that. Now that we've finished exploring, we're just... We were told to pack a little picnic lunch, so we've just got a couple of different bits and pieces and we're just going to sit here and hope, that, this, hope that the seagulls don't get <laughs> us. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We made it. We're on to our next spot. This, up until about 10 minutes ago, we thought was called Cull Ross. But from the quick research we've done, we think it's pronounced Kuros, which would make it seem like we actually know a little bit more than what we're talking about. But this is just a well-known, really charming little fishing village that's sitting on the coast. But we're gonna be going to a place called, I'm reading it right there, Red Line Inn for dinner and to try like a couple of Scottish ales and stuff. But apparently there's cobblestone streets and there's this, there's, it's quite a nice feeling here. So we're basically just gonna go for a little bit of a walk, do some exploring. Well, the rumors were true. This is really charming, isn't it? You're like snappity snapping back there. There's so many, so many colorful buildings here. It's, it's very, um, it's, it's confusing. It's very quiet. Sorry, I'm yelling, yeah. It's, it is confusing, but I can see what, what people were saying that there's a lot of charm here because it is all cobblestone streets. These are new cobblestones. Those look like old, original cobblestones. But they've all been, all the buildings have been repainted. It's a nice big church or a clock tower right in the middle here. I'm just sort of wondering, and then you've got the, the sea right there. Yeah, and all these, uh, all these colored buildings. It almost feels, it almost feels like Dutch or something. It really doesn't feel like we're in Scotland, but I like it. I forgot about that. So, this uh, little village was 
or is sorry used a lot in TV and films as lo as the location because it is so quaint and it kind of feels like you've gone back in time. So Outland uh, sorry Outlander is probably the most well known one. Was it one I of the Captain like, Americas or something? There's a few scenes. Yeah, there was a Captain America movie and about four more that I've forgotten the names of. <laughs> What's that? This used to be where they had like markets. So you come buy like your fresh Oh like fresh produce kind of. So, yeah. Wow. Look at these colours. Yeah, look. Market. <laughs> is that what it is? Oh yeah. Look up there. These are the most cobblestoney cobblestones we've ever walked on. They're literally just like rocks. That was very cool. It was very Scottish, like there was this traditional Scottish pub, which is very like dark and loud and quite compact and everything. So we couldn't really film too much in there, but I really enjoyed that. So did I, and the food was incredible. We got, it was like restaurant quality food. Definitely but was. Pub, in a pub setting, mm. it was amazing. It's very, very unique for us, especially as New Zealanders, when we go into a situation like that. It's just so, so foreign that it's, it's just something really enjoyable. We almost like out of your comfort zone a little mm. bit because it's so different, but we really love it. So also, we, it's kind of like in a pretty sleepy area and mm. there were so many people coming in and out of there. It's a really popular place. So if you are in this area, I would highly Definitely recommend come. coming but here. Make a reservation. We actually made yeah. a reservation and we were like, oh, maybe we don't need to. We went in and we were like, wow, there's lots Lucky of people Lucky we here. did. Yeah, so we ended up getting a steak pie and a, like a Scottish sausage kind of feta combination that the Gosh. waitress recommended. It was so good. So good. Tried a Scottish ale, which was amazing. Amazing. It was like half ale, half IPA. Like they know how to party in Scotland. Yeah, it's just delivering. We are going to do. We've got one day planned, and we're just literally going to go and eat and drink as much as we possibly can. Oh, so soft. That's your youngest. Oh, that so must be the soft. Youngest. Really? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's making the cutest noises. <laughs> <laughs> 